so we're talking with Troy King here at at, Tro- at T King Mode on Twitter. Hit him up with the follow. Uh, we're gonna get into some some Derek Carr now and then uh, yeah, Las Vegas Raiders. So that's probably the freshest news is Derek Carr gets a three year extension, and we kind of alluded a little bit of Derek Carr when we were talking to it there. Probably one of the most consistently disrespected quarterbacks in the league, and. You know, hasn't ever really played with a whole lot around him. Um, and, and last year, you know, obviously you get Henry Ruggs out of there and Waller was banged up. Um, so you don't really have a ton. Renfro blows up. But now finally, hey, we're going to get Waller in here. Hey, we're going to get Devontae Adams in here. Uh, we still have Renfro. We got Josh Jacobs. Like, what do you what do you think about this this addition or, or shoring up of, of Derek Carr's contract here? Man, so one, I'm not surprised that they gave him extension. I was very surprised about he got the no trade clause. I was very surprised by that. I was like, okay, can normally that's why I feel like the elite quarterback. Yeah, Derek Carr has been very good, but that was surprising. But I would say that he's still the fourth best quarterback in that division. Which <laughs> sure. is, I feel, I feel bad for Derek Carr. Right? Like he's, <laughs> in, he's such a, he almost had a chance to be the, he was the third best quarterback for a little bit. Now he's plumbing to the fourth. I, I feel bad. Cause again, like he's just in a horrible division, right? He's a good quarterback. They're going to be a good, that's a team that you just don't want to play. Right. I think they're going to be a spoiler. Do they have a chance at a wild card? They have an uphill battle. I feel like for fantasy though, I, you're going to want, obviously Devonte Adams is going to get his, I'm worried about Darren Waller. Like he's going to be more of a, I think he could still be a back end mid to back end tight end one. I think he's going to be more predictable because Adams is going to eat a a huge share of the targets, but Derek Carr himself, I think, and I feel like even with all this, he's still going to be a value, right? Because Derek Carr is not a sexy name. Like I don't care. It doesn't matter what happens. He's getting all these weapons. And And he tries with that guy liner to be sexy, but he just, they just, (laughs) he's not going to be sexy. It's not working. No, people get fatigue of of guys and Josh Jacobs, another guy, he's on the team and people don't like him for whatever reason. Like people just get tired of a guy and they never, and Derek Carr is one of those guys as well. Like, and Josh Jacobs is only 24 years old. Right. And he's so young. (laughs) He's been, he's been an RB eight and an RB 12 in three of his, you know, seasons. So anyway, so how do we feel about Derek Carr? Let's let's throw Derek Carr up against uh, some super flex quarterbacks here. Uh, Mac Jones, Derek Carr. Ooh, I think Derek Carr is definitely has more upside. So give me Derek Carr. Agreed. I like it. Um, how about how about Carr or Tua? I think. Oh boy. I gotta go car. I gotta go car. I mean Damn. the thing is like but here's the thing with that extension changes everything, right? I right. feel like that new regime is, showing confidence. Yeah, exactly. And then you you already security said, right? with the studs around him, right? Yeah. Again, Derek Carr, he's yeah, I gotta go Derek Carr there. <laughs> If he wouldn't have gotten Devontae, then we could go to we could get two of the Tyreek bu- nudge. But no, I think I would I would I would have went I would have went to an easy if that were the case. Gotcha. Yeah, and I think if if Adams wasn't already had such a nice rapport, boys at Fresno with, State, right? With Roommates, Carr, maybe I would be a little bit other. more concerned that hey, you know, this might take a minute to to kind of kick in, but I, I don't think we're gonna have to be waiting around nah. too long to to see the benefit nah. here. Christian Kirk or, or Derek Carr? We did that one. No, with, uh, not Christian, Christian Kirk. Kirk. Sorry, uh, uh. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Give me give me uh, Derek Carr all day over Christian Kirk. But, no, Kirk Cousins or uh, Derek Carr, yeah. I guess I got to go Carr. I, gotta, uh, I guess I uh, – man, I think they're like – to me, they're so similar. It's that Spider-Man like, meme, right? Yeah, they're like the same quarterback. But I'll say that Carr has like – just a few extra weapons. like that. And a couple less years on his, yeah. on his career. Yeah. So I'll say I'll say car. That's a that's a tough. I'll say car. I'll go car. I like car. I could, I could get it. I could get down with car because it's if car so, so, if car has a few good weeks, weeks he could come back into the good graces. Kirk's never going to be liked by anyone, right? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think Kirk's getting back in the. Kirk good can't graces. do anything to ever be liked by anyone. He's got to win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you win, if he He's gets win. gets the Vikings a Super Bowl, he'd be forever loved. Uh, all right, you want? We got one more. Uh, did I have one on the uh, sheet Justin Fields uh, or Derek Carr? We we'll one running quarterback last time. You gave the you gave <laughs> too the, many running not, quarterbacks. Got to take the, the running quarterback in Dynasty. Got to gave you the cheat code on the two of one. Is it is Carr the same? So, Dynasty, my Dynasty and redraft answers would be different. Right. Dynasty, absolutely Justin Fields. 
redraft. Give me Carl Day. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay, sticking with Fields. I Can't be out I on might, Fields just yet. I think I might go Car. You gonna go Car? I think so. I mean, but here, but here, no. At, if you're in a dynasty, if you're in a startup, yeah, you're not. You're really going no, to take. No, 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 certainly not. You don't have to. You yeah. don't have to. Yeah, but say, so here, exactly. So here's the thing, right? So if it's about like, if it's just about the like. I'm answering the question more about like because I want a guy who has more perceived value. Yeah, sure. Fields right? 100. So, That's so for me. Yeah. So even though and like I feel like also the sky we Fields is still a super unknown. So for me, I'm taking Fields because of that. But right. if I had to say who's going to outscore him like in 2022, I think Carr is gonna could easily outscore Fields even with that rushing floor. You know, it's like right. Because yeah, we didn't I even see him get unleashed from a rushing standpoint yet. That would be awesome to see that. And and that's kind of true. a cop-out answer, like Carr or Fields. Oh, I'll we'll just pass on Fields and take Carr later. You know, that's kind of sure, what the it answer cer- is. Certainly, right? if, if I it, would do that too, right. if that were the case, yeah. Well, and that, that would, I guess that's more or less it, it, me answering it that way is kind of what I'm saying. Like, if we were in, like, I, I, obviously – that value is not right, so I wouldn't do that trade if we were actually just trading assets. Yeah. But if we were in a startup, I would be okay with passing on fields and and taking Derek Carr a few rounds. I probably later. would too. I probably would too. <laughs> um, All right, let's. Uh, how about Devonte Adams? Let's get Devonte Adams in here because he's obviously switching teams. He's with a <laughs> he's new quarterback, a but an old quarterback. <laughs> um, how about? Let's let's throw Devonte Adams up against some guys. Devonte Adams or Tyree Kill. Uh, give me. Oh God, I think I'm going to go Hill slightly. I think I want to go Hill too. I mean, at least he's got at least two years it's, on him, right? And he still has juice. Doesn't look like he's, he's slowing down. He's a little down. bit younger, and and I feel like the again, like I think Adams is still going to get his, but I feel like that him. I just don't know if they're going to – he's not going to get the Aaron Rodgers treatment. Right? Obviously, him and Carr have that rapport, but literally, like, on the goal line, instead of running the ball, they would find ways – they would just throw it to Adams, like, no matter the right. scenario. Right. right. Adams okay, had a ridiculously to- low A dot because Aaron Rodgers was checking out a run play so often to just screen it to Adams to let him get six to seven yards of yak, you know? Exactly. And I'm thinking in this scenario, like, okay, like, yeah, he's going to get a high target share, but I feel like on the goal line – you still have Jacobs. You still have Waller. Like, yeah. you still have other options. So, and for me, like, Tyreek's going to be one of the folk. I mean, Tyreek's still going to be a focal point. And the McDaniels offense is going to be so creative. And he could go, again, he could take anything to the house. So, I'm going to go Hill slightly. I like it. Devontae Adams or Debo Samuel? D- Debo. Debo. Even with the Instagram, I mean, Debo stuff? if he's a forty, if Debo if he's a forty nine er, right? Well, Debo if he's a Packer, Packer. If he's a Packer, yeah, I'm hoping because <laughs> again, it's Aaron Rodgers. But like, yeah. there's there's only so many landing spots. I'll be like, I won't like downgrade Debo because Debo's amazing. But again. Debo was Debo because of the way he was used. I don't know sure. if he's gonna. He's not gonna get that well, utilization his, in most right. Places. His skill set mixed with the way he was used. Like, oh uh, regardless if he's getting the utilization, the the, or, the other organizations are probably not gonna put him in the same situation to win yeah. those scenarios that that he right. was just being put in. Um. So yeah, no. Uh, Devonte or Diggs just got paid. Diggs. I think I'm agree. I think I'm with you on every single Thanks. one so far. Got a year on Devontae, good quarterback situation. So right now we're just pushing Devontae down, baby. Devontae's just I getting mean, pushed down. Is, and, and I feel like he's I feel like Devontae's of value is just it's the unknown, but like I don't think there's any scenario where he's it's a downgrade. Like no matter what you're right. calling it, it's a downgrade in situation, right? Yeah, like, there's no way it can't be. Exactly. So like Diggs, he's good. Like every other guy that you talked about, again, Debo's the you know, and obviously Hills, the you know the factor doesn't that kind of equal, but most of those scenarios you brought up for again, D with the 49ers, lock digs with Bills, lock. Yeah, we're we're assuming again Adams will be fine, but just how good is he going to be in that offense? We just don't know yet. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's let's jump. Let's. Jump. I want to. I want to try to get Devonte. Devonte or Jerry Judy. 
Probably Devontae. All right. In that case. All right. I just wanted to get one. <laughs> you needed a win won. for Devontae. I needed a win. I needed a dub. <laughs> um, let's jump to Darren Waller real quick because you said that you thought that he was going to fall down to maybe like a mid tier tight yeah. end one, which doesn't take a whole lot, really. It doesn't. Um, but I see, I, I think that. I mean, the Raiders were like mid-pack in, in pass attempts last year. I think there's enough for to, for him to stay right up near the top three or four or, or two even of, of tight end targets because he's he's comfortable with Carr. Like, and, and, and I don't – I never really loved this argument that much, but like if you watch Raiders games last year, literally the entire team was following Darren Waller around. Like, I don't like, you know, the fact that you add somebody and you think this guy's going to get better because you added somebody that's going to require, you know, more attention. But, I mean, I still think that you're going to see 100 plus targets for Darren Waller. And I think they get I think the quality of target has to improve somewhat. I, I mean, the way the way I see it. Right. And like, I don't want anyone to think that I just hate Darren Waller. Of a sudden. <laughs> I feel like. But I think last year it was like Darren Waller was like either the number two or number three in like dread startups, right? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like he was always in that range. Right. Now I feel like you can have a debate, right? Like Goddard or Darren Waller. Like there's a you can make an yep. argument that yeah, yeah. Goddard is bad. On to be honest, you could make an argument about Schultz. Yeah, yeah like oh, he resigned oh. with Dallas. They got rid of Cooper, you know, and it's like Schultz, he was again, he was the tight end three last year. He like, was. So like, we we talked about it on our show. Like we're doing it. We 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 said to kind of do whatever you can to, to get Schultz within reason, um, because he, yeah, like I, you know, I don't know what the Cowboys are going to do in the draft. Jerry could definitely draft another wide receiver, but I mean, if they don't draft an early wide receiver, like you got Michael Gallup coming back from an ACL and you signed James Washington, but you got CD Lamb and Dalton Schultz. I mean, was eaten regardless last year. You put him in that scenario. I think he's just about to soak up targets. Exactly. So it's like Darren Waller or Dalton Schultz. I'm going to give you I'm going to ask you. I got, oh, that's question. Waller for me still. Waller, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to lean right, on right, Waller. Right. I'm, I'm going to go Waller too, but the fact that we even having this discussion, yeah, that's that's how fall. I, he hasn't fallen that far. But again, he that's what I'm saying. He's more in that mid-tier versus that elite tier. You're not high. certain anymore. Yeah, exactly. He's 29 and a half. You know, that's also working in his detriment. Right. But, yeah. you know. If he's healthy, I can't, you know, you're just throwing in Devontae, though. That's yeah. the, that's the that's the bummer piece for right. for. But yeah. you hope the efficiency goes up and the red zone maybe gets more opportunities in the red zone. The offense is more efficient; they can move the ball, more possessions, more targets overall. It's a balance, but he, I think he's going to be a value regardless. So not out on Darren Waller by any means. Would you take Goddard or Waller? In drafts, I'm taking. I'm still taking Waller ahead of Goddard, but like it would not surprise me at all if either Schultz or Goddard outproduced Waller to be. Yeah. To be honest, and I would if they not be did, surprised. then they their value would go up yeah. above what Waller's on age alone. Once yeah. you saw Ertz leave, Goddard really uh, took flight there and, and was super strong. Some of that weeks. was with Minshew, but yeah, he did kind of have a little <laughs> bit of a connection with Hertz, and hopefully they can build on that and keep rolling. <laughs>